Hello, I'm Dr. Jacob Hudis, and in today's presentation, I'll be discussing Faraday's Law. This fundamental principle of physics describes how a changing magnetic field can generate an electric field. Welcome to acephysics.org Math and Physics Tutoring with Dr. Hudis. Electric fields can be generated in two ways. The first is by charge as described by Coulomb's law. This is likely the type you're familiar with, where the field radiates outward from the charge. The second way an electric field is created is by a changing magnetic field, which generates an electric field. These electric field lines loop around the changing magnetic field. There are two types of electric fields. That's so cool. One is created by charges, following Coulomb's law, and the other comes from a changing magnetic field. This is just one of those facts about the universe you need to know. If a magnetic field changes, an electric field will always circle around it. I'm thrilled beyond words. This is incredible. Faraday's law states that when the magnetic field or flux passing through a loop changes over time, an electric field is created, driving current through the loop. The formula at the bottom of the slide is the mathematical equation of Faraday's law. EMF is equal to negative d phi b by dt. Here, phi b represents the magnetic flux, and the negative sign reflects Lenz's law, which ensures the induced current opposes the change in flux. These concepts are foundational in electromagnetism. If you'd like a refresher on flux, Check out the previous videos in the playlist, one titled Flux Explained, a Key Concept in Physics. This is the thumbnail. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. If the magnetic flux through a loop changes, an EMF will be induced, causing a current to flow. This is a fundamental law of physics. This is known as Faraday's law. There are three ways to change flux through a closed loop. You can change the strength of the magnetic field. Second, you can change the area of the loop. And third, you can change the angle between the field and the loop. If the magnetic flux through a closed loop changes by any means, an induced electromotive force will generate a voltage in the loop, resulting in a current. This is the current from a changing magnetic flux. This is the current from a changing magnetic flux. And this is the current from a changing magnetic flux. This is an undeniable truth of the universe. Whenever the magnetic flux through a closed loop changes, a voltage is induced, driving a current. To truly grasp physics, solving problems and observing solutions is essential. I have two more videos in this playlist where I solve problems related to Faraday's law. Be sure to check them out for a complete introduction to this fascinating topic of electromagnetic induction. This is a simulation from FET developed at the University of Colorado at Boulder. This is a bar magnet. The magnetic field lines leave the North Pole and they enter the South Pole. It's important to note that these lines don't simply stop at the poles. They actually continue through the inside of the magnet forming a complete loop. The magnetic field is stronger near the magnet and as you move farther away, the magnetic field is weaker. Here's a coil of wire with leads attached to a light bulb that complete a circuit. I'm gonna change the flux to the circuit and light up the light bulb. According to Faraday's law, this change in flux generates an electric field which drives a current in the circuit, ultimately lighting up the bulb. Anytime the flux through the circuit changes, the light bulb lights up. That's Faraday's law. This is the core principle behind technologies like electric generators, transformers, and induction stovetops. Faraday's law revolutionized the way we produce and use energy in modern society. The flux capacitor. Capacitor. To truly grasp physics, solving problems and observing solutions is essential. I have two more videos in this playlist where I solve problems related to Faraday's law. Be sure to check them out for a complete introduction to this fascinating topic of electromagnetic induction.